Hello everybody, in this video we are going to talk about the difference between rods and cones. Now this is the image of a rod while these are images of cones. All rods look the same, they all look like this. But we have three types of cones. One is blue, one is red and one is green. So cones can be classified based on the wavelengths that they are sensitive to. Blue cone is going to be sensitive to low wavelength. Green cones are going to be sensitive to medium wavelength. While red cones are going to be sensitive to very high wavelengths. Now to keep the difference of rods and cones in mind, I have a trick. The trick is that rods are associated with walking stick. Hence, rods are associated with old people. So, rods are old people. On the other hand, cones are like ice cream cones. And ice cream is eaten by kids. Hence, cones are associated with children. Now let's look at the difference between rods and cones. First difference is the shape which does not need any trick. Rods are rod shaped whereas cones are cone shaped. Now the second difference. Rods as we can see are black and white so they have nothing to do with color. So rods are associated with vision during darkness or scotopic vision. Whereas cones on the other hand are associated with vision of color or perception of color. Cones are associated with vision during the bright period or photopic vision. So this can be learnt with our trick that rods is associated with old people and old age is a dark period. Hence rods is associated with vision during the dark period while cones are associated with children and childhood is a very bright and fun period. Hence, cones are associated with photopic vision or vision during the bright period. Next, based on response. Rods give a very slow response, whereas cones give a very fast response. So, rods are old people. They walk slowly. They perceive things slowly. Hence, rods will give very slow response. While cones are young children who are running around full of energy, hence they perceive things faster and give a fast response. Next, rods are present on the side of the retina or the periphery of the retina, whereas the cones are present in the center of the retina. Children are always the center of attraction, hence cones are in the center, while old people or the rods are on the periphery. Next is based on the pigment. Rods have rhodopsin in them which is quite easy to memorize because rods rhodopsin while cones have iodopsin in them. If we do not have adequate amount of rhodopsin in our body it's going to affect the rods. So if the rods are affected what is the function of the rods? The function of the rods is vision during the dark period. Hence if rods are affected with lack of rhodopsin, we will not be able to see during darkness, which is called as night blindness. So lack of rhodopsin will affect the rods and it will cause night blindness. Next, we come to cones. Cones have the chemical iodopsin in them. Lack of iodopsin will affect the cones. And if it's going to affect the cones, we will not be able to distinguish between colors because cones are associated with color vision or bright vision. Hence, it will result in color blindness. The final difference between them is the abundance. Rods are more abundant while cones are comparatively less abundant. We have around 120 million rods while we have only 60 million Cones. The trick to keep these numbers in mind is that if you look at rods, R O D S, this is 1, this is 2, 
and this is zero. So rods are one twenty million. Whereas if you look at cones, c o n e s, this is six and this is zero. So sixty million. So these were the differences between rods and cones. I hope this video was helpful. That's all we have for today. Thank you.